Hello folks, Sam Owens here with a product that is going to help uh, if you have a construction site, a crawl space under your house, uh, in your garage that you want extra lighting. This is a uh, string of construction lights primarily. Uh, they're 50 feet string of lights, 50 watts, and they have 5,500 lumen, can work in the attic, uh, a lot of places that you want lighting and you don't want to go through a lot to uh, install them. Uh, one of the big things is each light, and there's five lights on the string of 50 feet. They're five feet apart. Up in the right hand corner, you've already seen some of the information. You'll see more as we go along. Pause if you want to look at some of the details about the lights as I uh, uh, demonstrate and show you the features. Uh, like I say, uh, each one has a carabiner already attached and notice you can hang this to anything. If you've got pipes or rafters, you can put uh, tie wraps around it, anything to secure these to it. So it makes it uh, easy and I'm going to demonstrate at the end how I have something uh, hanging up from my ceiling and we're going to do a demonstration of actually hanging these without putting them out to 50 feet. Uh, one of the other things is this is the part you plug in, two wire, 18 gauge like I say, uh, and the other end they made it so that you can add strings. Some construction sites uh, or like uh, Christmas trees, uh, people, uh, they need lights all around their uh, site. You can put up to 16 uh, strings of 50 feet with uh, five lights each, which would do a big job. And uh, if you're not going to add any more, they give you a cap. You can cover that electrical outlet to seal it from the weather, because this does make it all weatherproof. Okay, on this end, they fuse this. Uh, right here is a little door, and it shows sliding this up. And there's a fuse in there. Now, this is the active fuse that goes to this lead already installed. There's a spare fuse over here. And in here, you have some more fuses. So they want to make sure that you have plenty of fuses. They're eight amps. That's the maximum uh, fuse you, uh, size you want to use with that. So uh, if a light goes out, you might want to check the fuse and change it. Let me just show you changing this. You may say, well, I can't get my finger in there. Paper clip, a little small screwdriver or something to go in here and just put it in here close to the end and just pry up and it will come right out like that and either way going in is fine there's no polarity on these it's just continuity and then you just push it in there and obviously when you had the bad one out you would uh, you would pull out the spare or you can pull the spares out of here let's go over to the place where I'm going to install these okay folks uh, I'm going to hang the five lights from my uh, cargo rack for the car, which is suspended from the ceiling. This end in the center. And what I do is take this, and you want to swing this around where the big end is up so you can go like this. And I'm going to put it right in the center. It won't go over that, uh, that um, area that you would like to put it on. So I'm just gonna go on this handle right there. It won't go over that. So now that's the end. Now I can just put this up in there like that. Now I'm gonna take this one, go around that way, and I can clip this here, then go up, and I'm gonna Put this up, try to make it look as good as I can. Okay. And this will go 
on this one here there and this one can go up here without taking these apart this makes this nice and I could just put that around like that and I think you begin to see how easy this can be and the lights can be you know positioned you might have to use a tie wrap or something but uh, uh, this is doing the job I want these some of these lights pointed over toward the uh, wash machine and this is the last one as you see and I can put him like this and this will kind of pull that along and this will go over and I can kind of go around that way and okay Ah, there. And now this can just go up in here out of the way. Okay, there we go. Plugged in, powered up, and I'm going to go over to the wall and turn the remote control on, and you're going to see the lights go on. I do have a light over the washer and dryer, but it, she says it doesn't give her enough light for everything. So watch the light. Lights. And you can see she's going to have a lot of light. Absolutely. Up here, everywhere she needs. Uh, so that'll be the answer. Folks, I know she's going to be happy with this. And uh, you can find ways of using these lights that will solve your lighting issues for you in large areas or even in small areas this will work uh, so i want to thank you very much for watching my video